Rumours of his retirement abound, but still he starts today. We're live next on EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the focus of attention on Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang ahead of this game. The rumours coming out of the camp, Stuart, are that this may be his last season, that he's considering hanging up his boots. Well, if it is true, he'll be a big miss to everybody. He's been such a great player for them, but I'm always pleased to see a player retire before their powers start to wane. At the moment, he's still having a big impact on this team. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, if the players at the side of the diamond don't tuck in when they lose possession and the number 10 doesn't recover, the holding midfield player could be in for a really difficult game today. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Mateo Kovacic starts alongside Denis Zakaria in the centre of midfield. And the starting striker today is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And the match begins. And they need to get tighter. Lovely work to get past his man. Still work to do. Nicely blocked. Who can they pick out? Well, able to survive that attacking push. Mateo Kovacic on the ball, Zakaria. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Cucurella. Zakaria. Here's Kovacic. And an astute piece of defending. What can they do from here? Body on the line. Physically strong and secure on the ball. That's a routine take. Havertz on the ball Zakaria Mateo Kovacic a good and fair challenge and Chelsea get the decision from the referee well the papers have been chock full of speculation on this front but if they're to be believed Milan may be about to get their man Stuart yes the rumours suggest that the official bid is around £30 million which I would say is fairly close to the mark now it's just a matter of United agreeing. Oh, they might score here, Stewart. Couldn't grab hold of it. And thumped away. Mount. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Patient build-up at the moment. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Kai Havertz. Zakaria. Aubameyang. Given away by Chelsea. Taking care of business defensively here. 
I'm hearing someone has scored in the Leicester game. Alex Scott has the news. Yep, it's a goal for Leicester City. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They've scored the opener here with 23 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. A fine reading of the situation. Well, the ball lost here. They've given it away. Kai Havertz. Here's Kovacic. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And Sterling, but he's been a bit casual in possession. He must tread carefully here. And running through to the keeper. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. He's going forward well here. It did look on for them, but not to be. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Cash. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Zakaria. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Real chance. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Diego Carlos. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up to date news from Alex. It was a penalty for Leicester City, and it was a great save by the goalkeeper, bottom corner. It remains 1-0 with five minutes left to play before half-time. Thank you, Alex. Zakaria onto Abameyang. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. And Sterling has it. He made it look simple, really. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Very quick thinking there. And a bad pass it was. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Obama Yang. On the ball, Zakaria. Zakaria. Chance here. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And a corner to Chelsea. What can they do with this one? That is that for the first half here. And the match be Well, they get the ball rolling once more. Chelsea in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over. 
Zakaria. Here's Kovacic. On the ball, Zakaria. Kai Havertz. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Douglas Luiz. Here is Digne. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing West Ham United. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Fofana. Zakaria. Kai Havertz. Obama Yang. Really getting stuck in defensively. Marvellous Nakamba. Kai Havertz. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And that pass could be troublesome. And he's in the clear. And Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, here it is again. And I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. been a goal at the Etihad Stadium and Alex Scott can give us the lowdown on that and it's the second goal for Manchester City the free kick was well executed but it had a big deflection and it's gone in off the wall they're ahead by two now with 61 minutes played cheers Alex well cleared away and he's lost custody of the ball here It's a neat move. And there's the feed into the box. And cleared away. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent. And they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. It will be decision time, the second leg of the Champions League quarter-final. And you'll see it live with us here on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Sevilla. What a good second leg that should be. The first leg had lots of quality, and I'm expecting more of the same. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Douglas Luiz. And he's won the ball. Good physical play. And the cross into the middle. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Mateo Kovacic. Fine sequence of passes. Kai Havertz. James. On the ball, Zakaria. Spot on with that tackle. Douglas Luiz. Now that is how to play advantage. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Ings. It's with Douglas Luiz. Doughty defending to win the ball back.
and Chelsea have given it away. But a goal to update you on. It's gone in in the City game, and Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a third goal for Manchester City. A glorious chance. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. the replay and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it but how has he allowed that much time and space he doesn't even have to jump to head it in it's a good finish but terrible defending and they will make the change now about the outcome surely they now have been removed well we have to interrupt Alex in full flow there apologies for that just to confirm Manchester City did find the net in that match and they are running away with it seemingly 3-0 in front Watkins and we've entered the final five minutes and unable to keep possession Jorginho and I'm hearing that something has happened in the City game let's hear all about it from Alex it's a goal for Leeds they're behind 3-1 with 87 minutes played Alex thank you very much Sterling still not clear well that's the end of that for now Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board and the flag does go up must have been tight Fofana Zakaria Reese James, and that is full time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game, and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.